sorry about that little break. And we're back. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is just keep you bringing him down. Not going to come down. Why not? Come on, dude. Come over here, yeah, yeah. Ooh, what's that noise? Who is that? What's going on? I don't understand what's happening. Over here, that's the way. All right. Let's go up here. Uh, up here, up, up. Oh, you mongrel. Got him. Oh, what did he drop? Two drachma. Are you quite serious? I have to sleep in my own filth in here. Don't care. Let's go. Stop whining. Let's Thank go. You. It was very unpleasant in there. I don't care. How about you get the hell? Place, yeah. Then we will talk. Maybe if you actually moved. Do you know what I mean? Please, please don't take this the wrong way. How about getting yo ass in gear? Oh Christ! Yeah, run directly towards the guards. That's that's a good move. That works really well. Do you think you could move, pal? Unbelievable. Yeah, come on. I was going to kill all of them. Yeah, sure you were, mate. Was too hard to get out of his own. Yeah, uh huh. I'm hearing you. Apollodora sent me to help you. Yeah, because you're scroll. an idiot. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Give me the scroll. Your job was to carry it. Give me the go give me the goddamn scroll. Give me the scroll. Give me the scroll. Where is the ship? Give me the scroll. At the bottom of the lake. They what? I I'm gonna kill you. Very well. We'll get it. Oh, you're too nice, Apollo Bayek. For you at the S just stab him in the side of the head. The ship. Unbelievable. What I need are just more stupid jobs because idiots can't hang on to a bloody scroll. Come on. Okay. I love the, the water in this game. It is actually really cool. All right. Target located. Down we go. Okay, inside here. But uh, yeah, just let's take our time, why not? That precious scroll. There's the scroll. Neck. I like how he says neck as some sort of ancient Egyptian version of a frustrated swear word. Neck. I guess Ubisoft are hoping it will catch on, so let's just try it. Neck. Necking neck. Neck star. Yeah, I don't know about it. Oh, sunken temple. Yes, please. I'm in. Count me in as a big yes for the sunken, the old sunken temple. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go get some prezzies. Now, we do have a hippo over there, which I'm not massively delighted about. But if we're lucky, and we're possibly not lucky, we can go and get the prezzies. Got the first one, which is a little bow. Got the second one, which is a scepter. We're going underneath the bloody hippo. Oh, 
And we got the third one, which is a, a heavy blade. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. That hippo's a good swimmer. Let's get out of here. It's coming. Ow. No, come on. My air is low. Let's get out of here. While we're being attacked. It's coming after us. Ah! I'm being chased by a hippo. Which is, you know, you don't get to say that every day. Alright. Hello. Here's your precious papyrus. Hopefully well the hippo is still coming. Let's have a look. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. Yeah. I don't know if I trust you, pal. The scroll was meant for a Roman general, Pompey, in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She's at my estate. We're headed there now. Come ride my unicorn. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Philakis are... You will learn more at the villa. Queen enjoys the life of high society. We're gonna meet Cleopatra. I Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the Queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. <laughs> Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? <coughs> I'm totally gonna do wait. all of those things. So now we're going to meet the fabled Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. Aha! This is a bit decadent. Typical aristocrats. Dancing girls. Where is my opium pipe? Opium pipes. I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? And there is he Cleopatra. My queen, this is. Uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! You were meant to kneel. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> ah, Pasharemta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Now the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. 
the Order of Ancients. <clears throat> hmm. Let's get them. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the Order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. Hmm. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. Hmm. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. Hmm. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sun shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. Hmm, I've got a job. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow. Who, Daddy? So now we're working for Cleopatra. And Aya is already one of her most trusted servants. <clears throat> Off we go. To kill the crocodile. So we need to be up at around level 25 to really take on the crocodile. But we can go and get the scarab at level 15. And you can see that all of those guys have jumped up. So what we might do first of all is have a little look at taking the scarab out. From Saïs. Now, essentially, what you want to be doing is just building yourself up, doing a whole bunch of side quests, getting your um, levels up, upgrading your weapons so that you can take on these particular bosses from the Order of Ancients. There are literally hundreds of side quests that you can do. I have no intention of, of showing you all of them because that would just be crazy talk. <clears throat> but you can run around yourself in these areas and pick and choose. I will pick a few of the bigger ones that are, are particularly fun and we'll have a look at a few of those um, that are quirky and fun. For example... This guy. My yeah, master I am. is anxious that you get this letter. It is urgent. Your master? Do I know him? 
His name is Otis. You haven't met. All is explained in the letter. So now there's an incoming threat. We'll see you. I never know peace. That requires I'll level. Go to the camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. Level 35. So those are some of the DLCs. Orange is usually a DLC. Let's have a little look down here. Oh, what's that? How did that happen? Where did that guy come from? Who's shooting arrows at me? Who's shooting arrows at me? Where? Where are arrows being shot at me? Didn't even see the dude. Some dude randomly shooting arrows at me. Did you see the guy? I didn't even see the guy. I was busy fighting somebody. And then suddenly, from afar, some dude is shooting arrows at me. Right, let's have a little look at what we're shooting arrows. What is going on? There's nobody there. I, I'm substantially lost. Speak to Harcuff at the brewery. Yeah. I seek the master brewer, Akuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the Scara, the shadow that darkens Saiz. Please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. An evil name. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, and this guy makes beer. Me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. All right. So we're going to follow the brewer home. What's up, brewer? Oh, mate. How drunk are you? Walk in a straight line. All right. There are many terrible stories about the scarab. Yeah. I'm sure Apollodorus told you. All of which I'm going to tell you right now. Disappearances. Folk buried in the desert and left to die. Oh. A horrendous fate. Trapped in the shimmering sand. Your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun. Waiting for the final release into the duat. But Boy. these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. Let's have a look at what's in his special hidey place. The investigations of Haku's agents. Concerns of the people. Ah, size is no different than Siwa. The story of the Scarab. You know I share your concerns about Sefutu, but I believe a greater force directs him. This is the Scarab. Perhaps a mix of myth and rumour, but I think he exists. I think he controls some of his pharaoh's soldiers through fear and greed. That's why I was tortured when I discovered a rich payment to one of the captains. They nearly killed me. I would have died after they mutilated me if they hadn't thrown me onto the road where Tahaka found me and brought me home. Hmm. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Look at all these extra quests. So, I'm going to accept them all. And oh, I'm definitely going to... My ammo's full, that's good. We're going to accept all those quests and we will work through them. But first of all, the, the, the Scarab. With his tongue cut out. Hmm. Who was he? Old Cooper. 
father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Awab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? Huh. No. He no. Went on a road to Camp Absolutely He's useless. Camp Thanks, little man. See if I can find him along the road. All right. So we're going to leave it here, and next episode we're going to get this scarab. Off you go and play, little man. We'll see you. See you next time.